So let's talk fluoride. Water is currently our main dietary source of fluoride, but there is little evidence to suggest that this natural occurring compound is good for us. Fortunately, consumers have several options to address fluoride, so let's dive in. Reverse osmosis filtration is one of the most popular ways to greatly reduce fluoride by up to 90%. These units are commonly installed as a point of use, which means the system is located at one location where most of your drinking water is consumed, traditionally at the kitchen sink. These units have several filters, a semi-permeable membrane, storage tank, and separate faucet designated for filtered water to flow through. In recent years, we do see reverse osmosis options with without the use of a tank. However, these applications may reduce your rejection levels or compromise the capacity. So like every filtration option, make sure it fits your needs. A reverse osmosis filtration system not only addresses fluoride, but can remove other contaminants like chlorine, VOCs, which are your volatile organic compounds, heavy metals, and pesticides. Next up, water distillers. This is a highly effective way to reduce fluoride at 99% and can be set up in a matter of of minutes. Distillers are portable and do not need to be permanently attached to your plumbing and they do require electricity to operate. Water is added to the boiling chamber in the system which boils the water and causes it to evaporate. The water vapor condenses in a separate part of the distiller and drips out of the spout, filling up a clean pitcher. Many contaminants, including fluoride, are unable to vaporize with water and are left behind in the boiling chamber. You can then clean out the boiling chamber to remove the contaminants. Distiller systems remove a range of contaminants, including sodium, water hardness, and dissolved solids. Before we go on to the last two easy options to address fluoride, please hit that like button. And if you have any fluoride specific questions, please be sure to leave a comment. Another option is using an activated alumina filter, which averages 70% or more in fluoride rejection. This filter needs a slower flow for greater contact time and lower pH level to get the best results. Most often, this is a point of use system and is installed in an inline cartridge housing. Depending on the water quality, this filter may need to be used with additional filtration equipment. Lastly, we have bone charcoal carbon filters, which is one of the oldest methods of fluoride reduction, which can remove up to 90%. This is mostly installed as a point of use filter like the activated alumina filter. However, in recent years, we have seen an increase of using bone charcoal as a point of entry, which filters the water throughout the home because it can filter a broad range of contaminants like chlorine and lead. As with any filtration system, narrow down your concerns and determine which solution is best suited for your needs. The best part is you have options.